Hi everyone. Video contents are a sweeping trend on the internet, whether it's for social media, marketing, or personal use. Video editing allows us to create visually appealing content that tells a story and engages the audience. And when choosing a video editor, it's important to consider factors such as ease of use, features, compatibility, and cost. In today's video, I'll walk you through VideoProc Vlogger, a free, lightweight, but capable video editing software that will elevate your video to another level. To follow along with this video, get the software for free using a link in the description below. When you first launch the program, it will automatically detect the system hardware and check if you can use GPU acceleration, which makes it possible to process a high quality 8K, 4K, full HD, and HD video in a smaller size at a faster rendering speed. Next, you will be prompted to create a new project. You can adjust the project name, choose your preferred location, set a target resolution, set your desired frame rate, and proceed to create a new project. The Video Proc Vlogger has six main panels. First, Video Proc Vlogger menu panel. This panel helps you access commonly used features such as creating new projects, opening projects, and importing files among many others. Second, the Media Library panel. This panel helps in managing source media clips and audio. The subpanels in this media library include transitions, titles, and effects that will help you get more creative on your project. Third, the preview window panel. Here you can preview media files and it also helps you preview the edited results. Fourth, the toolbar panel. This contains all the tools that you need in editing your video. Fifth, the timeline panel. This allows you to arrange and manipulate these elements by dragging and dropping them to different positions on the timeline. You can also adjust the duration, layering, and overlapping of the elements to create the desired sequence and timing for your project. Finally, the inspector panel. This helps you get information about a selected media file and also has tools that help you manipulate clip properties such as the opacity among many others. You can also tweak your settings by going to the Video Proc Vlogger menu panel, and then to the setting. Here you can adjust your setting based on your preferences. Now let's go ahead and learn how to use the Video Proc Vlogger. As we had stated previously, we shall set up our project and set all the required details including the project name, the resolution, and the frame rate. And then proceed to create our new project. In the Media Library panel, we shall import all the media files that we want to use in this project. Let's now drag and drop our first video file into the timeline. Let's also adjust the fit size so that we have a good working area on our timeline. Using the split tool, we shall split the video into three for we are going to add various elements and effects to this project. Let's go ahead and add an animated title to our video. In the titles panel, we have a variety of title styles that we can choose from. You are free to use any style that fits your video. Let's drag it into the timeline and customize it to our own. We shall use Healthy Diet as our title. Let's preview it and see how it appears in the video. This is okay, but we need an opener effect to our video to match well with our title effect. So we shall add a motion effect to our video. In the toolbar panel, we shall click on the motion tool. There are many motion presets that are there and that you can choose from. You can as well use the manual way and add keyframes. But if you aren't conversant with keyframe animation, then you can go ahead and use the pre-made presets. Here you are also free to play around with the various presets and work with the one that you feel comfortable with. I will add this preset to our video by clicking on the Add button. Let's preview the opener animation. This is okay with me, so let's go ahead and apply the effect to our video by clicking the Apply button. As you can see the motion effect and the title effect are synchronized creating that awesome opener effect. Let's continue with our editing and add some exciting effects to our video. Using the speed tool, we can change the speed of our video. 
you can either choose to do it manually by adding keyframes and editing the graphs. This makes you take control of whatever you want. Or, you can use the pre-made presets and apply them to your video or use them as a starting point for your custom editing. You are free to play along with all the presets that are provided and choose one that you feel will go hand in hand with what you want to achieve. Let's choose the Showtime preset. Let's preview it and see how it appears in the video. This is OK. To our final split clip, we shall also add motion effects to it that move from right to left. We can adjust the anchor points in such a way and position that we want the motion to show or capture our main subject which in this case are the vegetables. Let's preview the effects. We can see that the effect is applied to our focus subject. Let's click on the apply button and head back to our workspace. Let us add a new media file to our timeline. Since we don't want that hard transition from one clip to another, we can add a transition effect between our first clip and our second clip. To do so we shall go to our transition panel and choose a transition preset. There are a lot of pre-made presets that are there, and you are also free to use any of them for free. Let's choose the fade to back preset and apply it in between our videos. This transition looks good to me. Let's proceed and add some color grading to our video. We shall use the color tool to do so. Here you can play around with the temperature, contrast, and highlights among all other parameters that you need adjustment to for your video. You can as well as use the pre-made filters that are there depending on the theme and style of your video. Let's click on the apply button to add the color adjustments to our video. Finally. Now let's add audio to our video. Drag and drop the audio to the timeline. You can adjust the length of the audio by dragging the starting point or the end point of the audio or you can use the spit tool and split a desired section of the audio. Let's now open the audio editor using the audio tool. First, let's create a fade in and a fade out effect on the audio so that you can have that cinematic feel on your intro and outro. There are tons of effects that you can use including echo, reverb, and high pass effects among many others. That will help you achieve the audio that you need. In addition, you have the audio equalizer that will also help you achieve that studio-grade audio. To apply the audio effect we shall click on the Apply button. At the end of the video, you can also add a fade to black transition so that the video fades simultaneously with the audio. We can also decide to add a filter to our video in a particular section so that we can make things a bit more exciting. Let's head over to the effects panel. There are a lot of effects that we can choose from. But let's make it simple and add a gray color effect to a section of the video. Drag and drop this effect to the timeline and adjust the duration of the effect. This will create this black and white effect on the video. Let's preview what we have been creating.
Now this is OK for me. Now it's time to export our video. Click on the export button and a dialog box will pop up where you can add all your export settings based on the output that you want. You can name or rename your video, set the video quality, and adjust the audio settings. When you are done, you can go ahead and click the start button. This should not take long. Now we have our video ready. That is just the tip of the ice bag. This video proc vlogger is packed with all that you need to create an awesome video. To make your everyday video editing hustle free, you can as well use Video Proc Converter, a real GPU accelerated video processing software, where you can convert, fix, compress, edit, download, as well as record your videos. I have also provided a link to the Video Proc Converter in the description below. That's all for today. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. In the meantime, stay safe. See you in the next one.